Hi and welcome to this tutorial on stabilization and orientation. I will explain to you how to use these two simple tools and give you some quick tips on how to get the best result for your video. So here in this project I already did synchronization and calibration. You must have done this before you go into stabilization or orientation. So we we'll first have a look at stabilization. Stabilization you can find in the window here. The purpose of this tool is to improve your video by stabilizing the images when a camera is shaken too much. So what you want to do is you want to select the area that you want to stabilize. So I will show you how this video looks like now. So you see here that the camera has some shakiness to it. So now we'll select this area and then let it stabilize. You will see this process will take a while, so we'll fast forward it. Now that the stabilization has been done, we can preview it in the window. You want to zoom in on the timeline. So now you see how it's stabilized. And it's much more smoother now. When we go to the stabilization tool here, it's presented as yaw roll and pitch. And you can see also the curves here in the timeline. You can see the changes at the stabilization curves showing the camera rotation that has been compensated. You can also compare it to the rest of the timeline that not has been stabilized, that it's flat, a flat line compared to these lines. So we'll now move to the next step, which is orientation. I want to close this and then put the edit orientation button on. I also want to close the stabilization widget. So now we'll do some adjustments. Now with the left mouse button, you can drag a point of the image and put it, uh, for example, here at the center. And then with the right mouse button, you can level the horizon like this. and you can see in the timeline that there has been a keyframe created so you just want to play the video and do the adjustments here you can also put the full screen mode you just press double F so now that the full screen mode is on you can just press space and the video will continue and press space again to pause it you want to do small changes that it's not too obvious what you did so now we'll go back to the normal screen again you just press F again so now we see that there's been more keyframes created you can go in between them using these buttons and see how the video changes in between the images. So after you finish with orientation, the calibration should not be updated anymore. So we can take a look now how the video looks different before and after we did the stabilization and orientation. So as you can see now, the video looks much better than before. So I hope this tutorial was useful, useful for you. Keep watching our YouTube channel for more tutorials and videos.